place that we can get Christmas parts. It looks like happyholidaysparts.com. Today we are going to talk about the Parma 56 Through the Woods Animated Mountain Trail. We will talk about replacing the motor, gears, and also reassembly. Hope you enjoy. The first thing you see is the top of the unit. This unit, the deer run along and they bounce up and down and you can put a ceramic building in the middle. There's a hole in the center to run the cord up through for the lighting for any building that you want to put on it. Now, as you can see, this is a 4.5 volt system DC. Now, the first thing we're going to do today is to remove the bottom cover. Now, as you can see, the screws are on the bottom. With a Phillips screwdriver, one, two, three, four, five, six, screws on the bottom. Screws removed. Take a flathead screwdriver and pry the bottom loose from the top. The bottom should pop off. This other side is the top. Now, for now we can put this top aside. We'll need that at the end. Now, let's look at the unit. Now, as you can see, the unit has three magnets. Each are on a sliding rail. Each magnet is connected to a spring assembly. As the unit turns, it follows in the track and moves the plate in and out. Please first check the tension of the springs. Springs should be bouncy but firm. Now, the next thing we're going to do is remove the plate. There's two screws. With a small Phillips screwdriver, remove the two screws on the holding plate at the top. This should come off fairly easy. Now, you can put the plate aside. The next piece that comes out is the drive assembly. Now be careful. The sliding things will slide right out of the unit and fall on the floor if you're not careful. As you can see, there's one big gear assembly at the bottom. Now, each slide rail has quite a bit of grease on it, so you might want a paper towel handy just to wipe your hands. Now we can put the gear assembly for aside for now. Now the next thing we're going to do is remove the motor assembly from the base of the unit. It's held on with three screws. Now there is a small screw that wraps the wire around into this little terminal and that helps stop the wire from being pulled out of the motor if somebody tugs on the bottom of the unit. Remove that screw first. Also, you can remove the belt and inspect. This belt looks pretty good, so we'll put it aside for now. Now, as you can see, we have three screws. Remove the three screws from the base so the gear and the motor assembly pop out from the bottom of the unit. you can put those screws aside.
Once the three screws are out, the unit should pop off very easy. We'll mark the positive wire and not the negative. On the motor itself, on our motors, there's a little round circle on the plastic back that has a little plus sign. That is for the positive side of the motor. If for some reason you get the wires reversed, it will not damage the motor. The only thing it will do is the unit will run backwards and you'll have to take the unit apart, reverse the wires on the motor and reinstall. Now, this unit that we have is one of our test units and we have a new motor that we had put in already but for instructional purposes we will remove the motor and show you how to remove the pulley and reinstall the pulley and reinstall the motor on the gear unit. Now there's two methods to removing the pulley. We use a pulley puller. The second method if you don't have a pulley puller is to use a flathead screwdriver. To reinstall the pulley we use a flathead screwdriver. Place the motor on something firm. Get a slight small hammer and tap the old pulley back onto the new shaft of the new motor. Do not tap too hard as you may damage the bearings in the motor. Now the next thing we want to do is to take our 104 motor cap and prep it. With a needle nose pair of pliers, turn the leads so they were spread out on each side and then turn them again in a 90 degree angle on each side. This will allow you to take the cap and insert it in the holes of the new motor. There is no polarity on this cap so you will not have to worry about which way the cap is installed on the motor. Solder the wires onto the motor. Once these are soldered on, you can go to the next step. New motor. We have installed the new cap and soldered it onto the leads coming out of the new motor. Now we can install the motor back on the bracket. Grab your Phillips screwdriver and install the screws into the motor holes. Do not over tighten. We can now install the gear assembly back onto the bracket. Now before we do that we have a tube of grease that it comes with the kit. Add a small amount of lube to the gears in the gear assembly. Remember, less is more. You don't need a lot of grease in there, so use a sparingly amount. Before we mount the unit back on, we must reinstall the wires onto the motor. Add a small amount of solder onto each lead. Now, we have marked the wires, the black wire which we have marked is the positive. Look for the dot on the motor. Solder the dot and the black one we had marked back onto the lead. The other wire will be your negative wire. Re-solder that one also onto the other side of the motor. Once this completed, we can go to the next step. You don't need a huge amount of solder. Always pre-tin your soldering tip before you start soldering. Now, before reinstalling the motor, there is a small notch in the bottom of the plate. There is a flat washer and a screw. This tightened down, not too tight. This prevents the wire from being pulled out of the unit if somebody tugs on the bottom of the plate. Now, reinstall the belt. 
is in good shape, so we will reuse the belt. Slip it over the large pulley and the small motor pulley. Now we will be ready to reinstall the gear assembly onto the bottom plate. Get your Phillips head screwdriver and tighten the three screws. Do not over tighten as you might break the mounting plates off of the bottom plate. Once this is done, we'll be ready to put the gear assembly back on to the bottom plate. Now, with the grease that you got from your kit, lubricate the gears. Now, there is three slide magnets. Now, when I, we opened our unit, they had quite a bit of grease. If yours is dirty or needs extra grease, add some to the slide shaft. You can also add some to the rail. With your Phillips screwdriver, tighten the two screws back down onto the center plate. This will hold the assembly unit in place. Do not over tighten these screws. Once the mounting plate is back on, if you need, you can add a little extra grease to the slides. Matches up with the unit. This is a 4.5 DC volt system. Turn the switch on. Let's make sure that everything is running smoothly. Now, if you hear a scraping sound, this is probably due to the brass pulley is too high on the motor shaft. You will have to readjust the height of the brass pulley by tapping it down a little bit further. Just make sure the belt is pretty well aligned with the large pulley. Now, turn the unit back on. Everything should be running smoothly. There should be no scraping sounds. As you can see, the little slides slide back and forth as it goes around the unit. Now we have reinstalled the motor, the belt, and lubricated the gears we are ready to put the top plate back on the unit. Just clean the top plate of any light dust or debris. Same with the bottom plate. Now we can reinstall the top plate on. Turn the unit over and re use your Phillips screwdriver and put the screws back on the bottom plate. Remember, do not over tighten the screws as you do not want to break the mountings off the top plate. As you can see, we are using a figure that's not meant for the unit, but it works for the purpose. Usually there's deer that are running around on the surface. Thank you for watching our informative video series at Happy Holidays Parts and Repair, where the love of Christmas is all year round. Thank you for joining us.